symptoms of loneliness. Your first step is to go to someone to evaluate this. Their first response might be to give you a self-report measurement. Self-report measurements are the most common forms of ways to assess psychological constructs. Um, however, psychological constructs may not always be tangible. That's why these assessments are essential. The complexities that go into forming these psychological assessments, however, um, have a lot going into them. It's very time consuming. It's complicated. You need a lot of people to evaluate them to, um, to ensure that you don't have features of adjacency, of bias, of a double barreledness. Um, any kind of impact that you can have on your questionnaire that may affect the readability of it for the, person, the participant. Um, the clear uh, exam review determined that amongst 75 assessment item creators, it takes an average of 52 minutes to create one assessment item. So if you have something that takes 10 assessment items, you are spending 520 minutes on that assessment. And that is for the first draft alone. Our question for my research team that we have posed is whether or not we can use artificial intelligence to streamline and augment the item development process. Um, so where does generative AI come into this? We have large language models such as Gemini and ChatGPT that we are trying to see if they can identify these problems that we have in our assessment items. So like I mentioned, we have adjacency, which is whether or not an item addresses multiple constructs. We have bias, whether or not it's um, affecting a certain, um, referring to a specific person, population, or attribute of a person in a stereotypical way. Double barrel, if it's asking multiple questions at once. If it contains an idiom, which may not be able to be read by people that aren't speaking English as their first language, or may not be familiar with the idiom, or high level language. Um, the typical reading level of uh, assessment items should be at sixth grade. And then lastly, we wanna assess it for quality. So our team, ended up using ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT 4.0, and Gemini Pro and Ultra as a way to first evaluate these assessment items that we had created. Um, when I say we created assessment items, we looked at loneliness measures that were already out there, and we modified them to contain bias, to contain adjacency, double-barreled char characteristics, all of these items to see if we could see if ChatGPT or Gemini are able to identify them before we have to go to the experts and before we have to use the team and use up that time consuming energy to get through to the final assessment. Um, so first we had the uh, AI, do, um, sorry, we had the AI assess it. And then next up, we had a series of experts. We collected over 200 contacts from the NCME list along with different college um, contact lists. We sent it out to them in a quadratrix form, which they completed in a time period of 15 to 40 minutes. Each of these people, we had, out of these 200 contacts, only seven responded, which meant our response rate was 3.5%, which wasn't great, but we got some information as to what level of education they had, what stage of their career they were in, early, middle, late, um, and some of their background information as to like racial background, age background, that way we could see what areas they'd be better at determining whether they had bias or other features. Um, so then, once we got the feedback, we have determined that um, from AI data, we learned that it's fairly good at identifying adjacency, which is measuring two different constructs, or demonstrating that it's pretty good at actually, um, well, different areas have different um, highlights. So ChatGPT 4.0, out of the three models, is actually best at identifying um, the high reading level. However, in other categories, such as Gemini and ChatGPT, they don't do so well. And then Gemini, for example, does much better at identifying um, quality compared to ChatGPT and ChatGPT 3.5 alone. So depending on what construct you are trying to eliminate from your assessments, well not construct, um, problem I should say, you're trying to eliminate from your assessment items, we have learned that there are certain models that are better at doing that and can streamline the process for future development. Um, and then the experts, we noticed, were also more likely to say unsure. They're unlikely to say positively this item contains bias, this item contains adjacency. So if we have chat, GPT, or Gemini eliminate this uncertainty beforehand, and then just give us the stuff that we're more confident in, then it can decrease the amount of time we spend creating these assessments. Um, so then it has greater potential to streamline this process, and then we can implement it into future opportunities for making assessments and make it faster.